Thanks for hanging with us today. We're going to begin uh, in this half hour with the news, uh, News 12 exclusive. A New Jersey man arrested in Woodbury for a violent abduction yesterday is now facing multiple charges in two states. And tonight, the victim is talking to our Blaze Gomez and says that she was forced to drive by knife point for miles. He said, you're going to drive and I'm going to tell you where to go. And if you look at anyone, if you call the police, if anyone sees anything, I'm going to stab you. 19 year old Alexis Rulin didn't think she'd survive Thursday after her boyfriend hid in her car at Ramapo College in Mawa, New Jersey at the end of class and forced her to drive with a knife to her face and neck. He was telling me that I was driving to Harriman State Park and that he was going to kill me there. He was going to dismember me there. Um, he was going to throw me off a cliff, hang me by my neck over a cliff. Rulin says 22 year old Pavel Slowinski repeatedly punched her in the head with his fist and a pumpkin that she had in her back seat while threatening to kill her because he was angry she didn't return his calls. He like hit me across the face so hard that the other side of my head hit the window. I can see the gash you have on the side of your temple. Rulin ended up battered and bruised miles away at the Woodbury Common Premium Outlet in Central Valley, where she says Slowinski told her to stop during the ordeal to buy himself a pair of ski pants. She says he took her phone and told her to stay put, but instead she went to Woodbury Police. Slowinski was found at the Harriman train station and arrested. Rulin saw our report online about what happened and reached out in hopes her story will help others experiencing intimate partner abuse too. I want everyone who's going through similar things to start being encouraged and inspired that they can get out and that there's help for them. In Woodbury, Blaze Gomez, News 12. Slowinski is now facing multiple felony charges in both New York and New Jersey, including unlawful imprisonment, kidnapping, and making a terroristic threat. He is in Orange County Jail without bail and facing transfer to New Jersey.